I grew up in Brooklyn in the 50s. My mother told me that I was making a mistake by trying to whip my boyfriend's ass in Scrabble. She said, you should lose to him. And I just, I couldn't. We wanted to move out of the city and actually buy a house. So we made the move out to Long Island. But I didn't realize what a huge change it would be. It was kind of boring. I felt isolated. Growing up, I remember saying, I want to be a stewardess, which was at that point very glamorous. And my dad, he said, why don't you want to be the pilot? That was a gift from a father in the 50s. So instead of doing laundry or, you know, polishing my nails, I went to my books, but also got into mysteries. And I, it happens to all writers. At some point you say, oh, I can do this. As I was saying that, there was a character in my head. And she was a suburban housewife, gee. And she lived on Long Island, what a coincidence. She had two children, a boy and a girl, as I had. And she wanted to solve a murder. The book became Compromising Positions. I really want my women characters to do something out of the ordinary. They don't have to be swashbucklers, but they should be people who, who gain something. So that it, by the end of the novel, they're fuller people than they were. And because that's what happens in life.